Hello everyone. My name is Jason Updike, here also with Victor Akinagbi. We are both very excited to demonstrate the next phase of our Microsoft Unified Communications interoperability environment. In this segment, we have built upon the basic SIP integration between Microsoft Link and Cisco Call Manager, and have now integrated Assured Services SIP as well as multi-level precedence and preemption functionality into the environment. To start, let's take a quick look at the architecture. As you can see, We've built a hybrid environment that serves both C2 and non-C2 users. This affords you the flexibility to choose the blend that makes most sense for your organization. This choice allows for tremendous cost savings and user flexibility. We have integrated Microsoft Link 2010 with Cisco Call Manager 8.6.2 with a direct SIP trunk via an Acme Packet Session Border Controller. By utilizing the Acme Packet SBC, both vendor technologies can interoperate and we can effectively translate SIP to AS-SIP and vice versa. Okay, first we want to demonstrate basic MLPP between two Cisco 7975 phones. Both of these phones have been given permission to execute all MLPP levels. We start by dialing the routine code and then the extension for a routine call. We then dial using the priority code and then the extension for a priority call. Notice the single green square indicating priority. Next we place a flash level call. Notice the two yellow squares. We then place a flash override level call. And finally we place an executive override level call indicated by four red squares. In the second scenario, we will demonstrate a Cisco user preempting a link to Cisco call with MLPP. We start on the PC running Microsoft Link and place a call to Cisco with the Link soft phone. You'll notice that we place this call using the priority MLPP level indicated by a single green square on the Cisco phone. We answer the call and leave it open. We now place a routine level call from the second Cisco phone. Since routine is a lower precedence than priority, we get a busy signal. We now place a call from the second Cisco phone, but this time use the immediate MLPP level. Because immediate is a higher precedence than priority, we alarm the users and preempt the call. Back on the PC, you see that the link call has been dropped because of the preemption. In the third and final scenario, we demonstrate a link user preempting a Cisco to Cisco call by passing DTMF codes to the Cisco call manager. We start by placing a routine level call between the two Cisco phones and holding the call open. Then from Link, we place a routine level call to Cisco. Because routine is at the same level as the Cisco only call, we get a busy signal, as well as a visual notification that the other party is in a call. We then place a call from Link to Cisco by entering the DTMF codes for the priority MLPP level. Because priority is a higher precedence than routine, Link preempts the Cisco only call, the users are alarmed, and the other Cisco party is dropped. We then take the scenario one step further by adding in rollover. After four seconds, we roll over to the second Cisco phone. This represents a configuration possibility that prevents emergency flash override calls from going unanswered. 